I'm Dr. Stacy Leonetti. I wanted to be a vet ever since I was a little kid. I was about eight or nine years old when I decided that was what I wanted to do. Then when I was in undergrad, I started working with reptiles, and that's where I really developed my love of working with exotic animals and decided that that was what I wanted to do rather than more traditional small animal practice. I like doing it because I get to see something different every day. I see multiple species every day. I see different conditions every day. So it never gets boring because you're not doing the same thing over and over again. Corn snakes are native to the U.S., the eastern and more southern part of the United States. In captivity, they can live to be about 20, 25 years old. They're usually a red-orange color, uh, but there are lots of different color morphs now that have been bred for the pet trade. When it comes to feeding your snake in captivity, we usually recommend frozen thawed prey. Uh, you take it out of the freezer, thaw it out, and make sure it's warm to body temperature just like a natural prey item would be. The reason we do this is it is a lot safer for your snake. What's going on with the snake? Okay, so the snake every year mm -hmm. goes through a, I'm not eating for right. a couple mm -hmm. months. Yep. And the first year I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So I had him forest fed. The other years he actually, after a while, he's just done it on his own. Okay. But we're bordering on that three, three and a half month thing. Okay. I, and I just tried again yesterday. Well, especially since you know that this is a pattern yes. for him. <laughs> um, very, very, very common in ball pythons, um, especially, but other snakes will do it as well. Well, they'll quit eating over the winter, and some of them just don't start again. So you almost have to kind of just jump start them. <laughs> so we have a tube feeding mixture that we use, and usually with one tube feeding, they start eating again. Christian, the corn snake, had stopped eating. What is kind of typical for him is in the uh, spring and summer, he'll go into a breeding season. And male reptiles, a lot of them do this, where they're so intent on finding a mate that they don't eat. What we see it with a lot of snakes is if they stop eating for several months, it's almost like they forget how to start eating again. All right, girlfriend, time to eat. So this mixture is carnivore care. Um, with a little bit of fiber, metamucil, okay. um, to kind of simulate hair. Make sure you hold that hand. I will. Straighten her out, straighten him out here. Come on, pass oh. now, baby. So a little bit of fiber, um, and then a dose of dewormer, and a dose of an antibiotic antiprotozoal medication that also helps often act as an appetite stimulant in reptiles. Okay. Usually I just go as far as you can because the stomach is probably about right there. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. So. Oh. Go, 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 go. Weaklings. I'm not weak. The thicker you make it, the easier it is for them to keep it down too. There we go. So. Oh, who's a good boy? We also see it a lot with ball pythons and some other species uh, where they'll stop eating over the winter. And similar thing, if spring comes around and they don't start eating again, we'll tube feed them and that usually gets them going again. You were good. 